So Lakota Language Consortium supporters and defenders have been trying to muddy the waters. They've been saying that because we received copies of some of my unchi, my grandmother's stuff, that they've given back our stuff. But what we're talking about is rights. Licensing, publishing, copyright, distributions, all that. And we're not looking to share in any of those rights. We want exclusive rights over my grandmother's intellectual property estate. Because let's say if we share a license, we share a copyright, then we lose control and we can't tell who we're sharing with to pull down those recordings or to stop using them or to stop exploiting her name, image, likeness, language, all of that. So if you share a license, a copyright, all that, they can still profit off of her. We're also not just talking about the raw data, the recordings and all of that. We're also talking about the derivatives that were created from that raw data. Oh, here's the recording, but we're still going to sell all the stuff we made off of that. Here's a Facebook post from the Lakota Language Consortium, September 4th, 2020. In their own words, they say that she, from 2005 till 2018, she was a main consultant for the new Lakota Dictionary. Further on down, they say her knowledge of both styles, uh, they call it, her knowledge of both styles helped the gra committee that oversaw LSI grammar classes and the Lakota Grammar Handbook. So my grandmother was a main consultant on a Lakota dictionary, as well as helped with the Lakota Grammar Handbook. So if we were given her stuff back, i.e. the derivatives, the stuff she helped with, then why was I accused of copyright infringement on the Lakota Language Consortium Grammar Handbook that they, that they gave her credit for? That's like telling someone... Oh, we gave your land back and then accusing them of trespassing. Did you really get your land back? You might say, well, this was last year, two years ago or whenever this was. But in LLC's complaint to the South Dakota Department of Ed, um, targeting my teaching licensure, they again accuse me of regularly infringing upon the grammar book, the Lakota handbook. But this was recent, March 7, 2023, this complaint. Also in that complaint, at the LLC or TLC's booth at NIEA two years ago, they're saying that these brochures that had my grandmother's picture on them were the LLC's educational materials or pamphlets. And I tried to deprive the LLC of its property. Picture of my grandmother.